Now y'all know I love me some sixes, man. You know I couldn't go without picking these up. Today we're gonna be looking at the Air Jordan 6 in the ochre colorway. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now before we get to breaking down the shoe and going over all the cuts and materials, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1991, it was a special year. MJ won his first championship and during that season, he debuted the Air Jordan 6s. We saw multiple colorways from infrared, white infrared, maroon, September blue, and one of my personal favorites, the Carmines. And the reason why I bring up the Carmines because these have some very similar color blocking. Low key, the exact same. And you know what that means. It's hard to fail with a shoe like this. Or is it? Because these things are sitting everywhere on shelves. I know, I know, I get it. People don't like the sixes, but I do. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can break down all the styles, cuts, and materials. And you guys can see how amazing this sneaker is. And here we have it. Oh my gosh, y'all know, y'all know. Y'all know I love me some sixes, but this one, this one just makes me so excited. So looking at the box right here, you got your classic OG style box, but with the modern day twist, they make this shoe box match the shoes. I love how they go with this simply because when you go get your shoes out of your collection and you're trying to identify where the shoe is at, and if you don't have shoe clear containers and everything, like and you just got shoes stacked up, yeah, it can kind of get confusing because you got to read the little labels and everything. So to be able to easily distinguish the shoe and grab it out of the stacks and put it on and rock it for the day, I think that element as well is dope because it's it's unique to the shoe and then it's also a lot easier just for accessing your shoes. But again, that's my little uh, two cents about it. Either way, you got your black Jumpman, which is like also similar to the little nylon patch in the center of the shoe with the laces. You're going to see that later. And then on this side, you got all yellow. And then on this side of the box, you got that cement print all throughout with the gray with the black speckle and then on the size tag it reads air jordan 6 retro white yellow ochre black size 12 and a half just for me and retail on these was 200 dollars now lifting open the lid of the box right here you got your all over cement print paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay initial first impressions of this sneaker when i saw these online i knew for a fact i had to have these in my collection y'all know the jordan 6 is my favorite model and then you have Carmine color blocking, like pretty much to a T. This is what I'm talking about right here. This just makes me so happy, bro, because there's a lot of Air Jordan 6s that are like the Carmine color blocking, but not exactly like it. But right now we need to go through all the details, the styles, cuts, and materials, because I'm already seeing some differences when it comes to the materials and shape of this shoe compared to the previous Carmine retro. Looking at the outsole right here, you have your classic Air Jordan 6 bottom, translucent pods on the front and back end, all white when it comes to the rubber, and then your large Air Jordan Jumpman logo with the yellow stamp in the middle of that. Now going up to your polyurethane midsole, you have your all black on the front, front end with a little white on the bottom and then your white patch here a little black and then more white around the back of the heel and then you're gonna have that same black hit right here over the air unit and then white throughout the rest of the midfoot going to the front end with a little black spot right here around the big toe when it comes to the upper you're gonna have essentially three types of materials when it comes to the tongue and then the yellow area and the white area on the shoe you have more of a slightly tumbled leather that's wrapping around the back end around the heel and on the bubble with the perforated dots and then on the front end of the shoe when it comes to the three logo you have all white leather as well matching that and honestly the leather feels pretty solid I think once you start riding rocking these it's gonna crease up I think that also kind of screams you know a little bit more premium a little bit more elevated because when you think about the yellow ochre ones this is like something new when it comes to this colorway you know what I'm saying like we got cool gray and then we see multiple variations of the cool gray threes and the nines and the fours and the 11s and different stuff like that over the years so this might be something new we'll compare the materials in a second because the materials and the colors are slightly different but let's go ahead and finish running through this shoe now these come standard with a pair of all white laces and just behind that you got your white fabric and over the top of the laces you have your classic air jordan hit right here that's going to be an all yellow ochre as well matching the upper it's slightly different but it's basically like the same color and then you got your lace lock all yellow with the black jump man in the center of that and then your classic black rubber air jordan pull tab right here at the top of the tongue now going to the collar of the shoe that's going to be covered in all black with your fabric there and then you're going to have your black pull tab on the back end with your yellow ochre stripe in the center of that now looking at the sock liner that's going to be an all black with the yellow jump man and another thing that a lot of people like about this shoe is they actually use 
use polyurethane insoles, which actually allows for more comfort. Typically, that's something that we see on more of the OG models or the retros of some of the most iconic models. So that's a nice touch to this shoe as well. Now going to the back end of the shoe, honestly, yes, this would have looked dope if they would have put a yellow Nike Air, but I completely understand why they did it. There's no need for it. This is a retro, this is not an OG. I personally prefer OGs to have the Nike Air and not the retros, unless it's like a collaboration. I understand that aspect. So now that you guys have a better understanding of what the shoe just overall looks like, let's do some comparisons against the ones when it comes to the materials and the colors and shades and tones and where this series is going and then we'll compare them to the car mines so you guys can see the differences between the shapes and cuts of the shoes as well so looking at these two shoes side by side yes you can clearly see they're a part of the same family you get that vibe but at the same time when you actually put them really side by side and you look at the materials you notice that the ones, they're a little bit darker shade when it comes to the material, and there's a lot better texture on the shoe. And then the actual leather here on the vamp or on the side panels, yeah, it feels like a little bit nicer. It still has that same kind of feel to it, but I know there's definitely a big difference as well when it comes to the color of the leather, because the ones have more of a sail colored midsole and a sail colored leather, and then on the sixes, it's more of a pure white all throughout the sneaker. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if these had more of a sail colored leather and a sail colored midsole and outsole. So what do you think that would look like? You guys remember the Ginger 16s? They're kind of similar, but these are called the Ochre. You know what I'm saying? So maybe these kind of fall in that line. Maybe we might get a higher number retro. But it's, honestly, I'm just saying that because I want to see the Ginger 16s come back out, but that's just me personally. And while we're at it, can we get the Cherrywood 16s as well? Let me know down below in the comment section. Which one do you guys like more? All right, now for this one right here, we have a lot of similarities, it's the Air Jordan 6. And like I was talking about earlier, color blocking, color blocking, this shoe, besides the Nike Air aspect, bruh, like this is something that we don't see too often. For example, let me just, let me, hear me out. The Air Jordan 6 Olympic 6s, similar, but not the same, midsole different. And I'm sure you guys are saying the UNC 6s, similar, but not the same. Look at the look at the tongue, look at the back tab, look at the different thing. They're similar, but not the same. The Oreo 6s, like I talked about earlier, those are really close. Those are very, very close when it comes to the color blocking, but not the same. And then you have other things in the line, like the PSG 6s. There's other stuff that's similar to that. Even the Cool Gray 6s. Remember the Cool Gray 6s? Similar but not the same. I'm just excited about this because I think this is the first time that we've seen a Retro 6 with the exact same color blocking as the OG Carmine. So for me, that's where my excitement comes from this shoe because this is one of my favorite models and color blocking of this model of all time out of all the sneakers ever. So besides my excitement for the sneaker, let's talk about some of the differences. So when you put these two shoes side by side, you can clearly see, at least from my perspective, that the toe box is starting to get big again. It's more square on the front end. That's something that I didn't like, especially when it comes to the white toe on a leather toe. You can really see it. It's a lot more prominent, but luckily because you have this material and the color and the way it's contrasting with the white leather, it doesn't stick out as much, but these are a little bit more sleek on the front end of the toe right here when it comes to the Nike Air retro of the Carmine. And then another thing when it comes to materials, like I was talking about the feel of the materials, also the white leather on these two shoes. If you notice, this one's a lot more, I would say, tumbled or textured, and this one is just flat, smooth, clean, crispy, even on the back end around the heel and the ankle area. This is something that like, if you wear it, it might look a little bit more wavy. Now again, coming to the back end of the shoe, you can see clearly you got the Nike Air on the OG, and then you got the Jumpman on the back, and then on the bottoms, everything's gonna be the same there. And then on the insole, on the sock liners, you're gonna have Nike Air on the Carmine, and then your Jumpman here on the Retro. But besides that, when it comes to, you know, the shape of the toe, the material differences, the shoes honestly are both pretty solid. I don't think they got too far away from the OG. So clearly you guys know if there was a poll, I would say fire, but I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks because not that many people like sixes and I understand. So I posted a poll on my Instagram story. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me over there so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. 57% of the people chose fire and 43% of the people chose trash, which means Yes, there is a majority and they did win, but that's a pretty low score. And that's probably why the shoe sat on shelves everywhere. This has happened plenty of times in the past when the market is down, the prices are low, 
And then you look later and the shoes, $300, $350. Is this one of those shoes, five years from now, the shoe's gonna be going up and you're gonna be like, damn, I should've got it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But at the end of the day, I like this shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna see any other reviews like this, let me know. I'll see you guys in another one. I'm out. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. That's in my DNA. Hey, hey, the hey, only bro. choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One of those. One I would never one. let you down. It's in my DNA, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it, it's in the DNA.